Hello, people of the internet! My name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another amazing FNAF news video. You may have noticed the last couple of news videos have really only been focusing on Blumhouse's upcoming FNAF movie. Well, today, that chain breaks. In fact, we're kind of talking about everything but the movie in today's video. Because honestly, there's already been so much more movie news that it's already gotten its own dedicated video soon. So, whatever, let's just take the opportunity, talk about non-movie news topics while we have the chance, because we've missed out on a lot. So, if you're excited to keep up to date with all the FNAF news, scroll down, tickle that subscribe button, and first up, let's take a look at a brand new post by Steelwool congratulating us on getting to the fall season. Their post says, happy first day of fall, bring on the changing leaves and cozy sweaters. Here's to a rad season ahead. And attached is the artwork we saw at that PAX West booth for Help Wanted 2, featuring the Fall Fest gang from Freddy and Friends. And actually, Steelwool was not the only major FNAF head to make a post recently. We actually got Scott Cawthon making a brand new Reddit post. I won't read out the full thing if you want to pause and do that yourself feel free but basically it boils down to one of scott's kids brayden cawthon actually released his very own book recently it's called sirens and it's available to purchase right now so if you want to support one of scott's kids feel free to go pick up sirens and speaking of books we got another book releasing recently and that was the eighth tales from the pizza plex book B7 number two. Now, I unfortunately don't have it on me right now, but I definitely will be picking up what is the eighth and supposedly final entry in the Tales from the Pizzaplex series. A ninth book was announced literally almost a year ago as of tomorrow, but there's been no updates on a title reveal, a cover, even a description for what stories would be involved, so... I'm honestly thinking that was a bit of a mistake. So I'm very curious where the FNAF books are going next, if they're going to continue the three short story series of books like Frights and Tales, or maybe we'll get something similar to the Charlie trilogy, a wider, grander story that stretches across multiple books. Lastly, for book news, we got a brand new preview for the upcoming graphic novel volume four for the Fazbear Fright series. This particular preview features another look at the Breaking Wheel, one of the stories included in this collection. The volume will also contain illustrations for the Cliffs, Sergio's Lucky Day, and the book is planned to be released on December 26th of this year. Moving on now to merchandise, we got a brand new FNAF Pillow Pet on the way, though it's definitely not what you're expecting, because very soon, Pillow Pets will be releasing a 30-inch jumbo version of their Freddy Fazbear plush. I believe it's over double the size as their regular Freddy Fazbear plushie, and it's also going to cost $90. So if you need 30 inches of Freddy, that's going to be coming your way very soon. Moving on now to FYE, we got brand new FNAF-themed chocolates being released by them. Glamrock Freddy features an orange and milk chocolate bar with popping candy. Then we got Glamrock Chica snack cravings with cupcake-flavored white chocolate. And finally, Monty's Gator Grub Lemon Lime Cream Bar. I was able to pick them up the other day, but honestly, as unfortunate as it is, I can't eat these. They got stuff I'm allergic to in them. Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe if we get enough likes, <laughs> it'd be a hell of a video. Also from FYE releasing pretty soon is a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Box Lite. It's got the same design as that pizza kit that released a few years back, and this is planned for a release in January. And as always, it's not a FNAF news video if we don't have a bunch of random stuff coming from Hot Topic. First up, they've got an exotic beverage soda can water bottle. Now, don't be misled. This does not feature the drink exotic beverage. Instead, it's just a water bottle that looks like the can. Can. Then we got some chibi Glamrock Freddy socks, as well as a brand new Circus Baby t-shirt. What I believe to be our first Fazbear Fright merchandise, actually, which is pretty interesting. We got Into the Pit Spring Bonnie on a t-shirt, a Springtrap t-shirt, a Five Nights at Freddy's t-shirt, Pizza Plex t-shirt, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza t-shirt, just a whole bunch of t-shirts, really. Another Security Breach t-shirt coming from Spencer's as well. Spencer's is also selling this amazing-looking Springtrap blanket. Previously, that Springtrap design was on a mug at Spencer's. A lot of people wanted it on something bigger, so they can fully appreciate the fantastic art by Turntail, and I guess the blanket gets the job done. Moving on to Funko, but also sticking with Hot Topic, we got brand new Blacklight Pop figures coming soon, but these brand new designs of the Blacklight characters are going to be exclusive to Hot Topic stores, and then they're also going to be making another Glow in the Dark Nightmare Freddy Pop figure, this time bundled in with a t-shirt. This time though, the Glow in the Dark Nightmare Freddy Pop figure isn't green, so I guess it's got that going for it as well. And finally from Funko, we got our first look at their third series of snap figures and as previously reported as you can see this
this wave will include the staff bot as well as Roxanne from Security Breach, as well as Helpy. You can see their accessories as well as their changeable mass in front of them. The staff bot and Roxanne have their traditional looking faces. You can swap them out though for their shattered look. And then it looks like for Helpy, he's always going to be in a smile, but the changeable face plates close and opens his eyes. It's a little strange that the shattered Roxanne faceplate still has her eyes. That's kind of like the main feature that Roxanne is missing when she's in her shattered state. She loses her eyes. So why they didn't just make them like black holes or something to cover up the eyes, I have no clue. No release date on these guys just yet, but I'd love to know what are your thoughts so far on series three of Funko Snaps. And our only hex news for today's video, we got our first proper look at the upcoming Withered Freddy plushie. Docco revealed this bad boy on his Twitter a few days ago, and honestly, he looks fantastic. The way they've elongated his face and his snout to make him look more like an actual grizzly bear makes him look spot on in my opinion. The withering, the wires look fantastic on this plush as well. Moving on now to YouTube's, they showed off the box art for their upcoming Ruined Chica figure from, of course, FNAF Ruin. We can get an idea of what the figure itself is going to look like design-wise, and honestly, it looks pretty spot on. I'm not gonna lie, the Ruin designs are pretty complex and weird, so honestly, mad props to YouTube's for practically nailing it. And if you forgot, this Ruin wave is going to be massive. Not only are we getting Chica, we're also getting the Mimic, the Mexus Entity, Roxy, Monty, and Eclipse. That's six characters right there, all coming hopefully by the end of this year. But actually, we have a brand new U2's wave of figures releasing even before the Ruin characters, this time the Haunted FNAF 1 characters. First up, let's take a look at the box art for Golden Freddy. That'll give you an idea of what these figures are going to look like. And something you might have noticed immediately is the fact that there is a child spirit possessing the Golden Freddy. And well, that's exactly what these new figures are going to look like. As we can see from the reveal of Haunted Freddy, not only are these FNAF 1 characters in a new pose they also have transparent figures of the crying child behind them or just a regular spirit behind them possessing the character kind of controlling them in a way it looks like it's likely these guys are going to be released around the same time as Blumhouse's upcoming FNAF movie I know I wanted to say no FNAF movie news but you could technically count this as movie news so around later this year it seems like is when these guys are going to be released honestly even though it is reusing FNAF 1 figures which we've gotten plenty of in the past we just got flocked figures not too long ago I think these figures are unique and interesting enough to warrant a release, so I'm definitely going to be picking them up. I'd love to know what are your thoughts on these brand new haunted figures from U2s. And lastly, for U2s, we've got a brand new look at their upcoming long Pop Goes plushie. And for a size comparison, you can see the plushie is about three total U2s figures tall. And speaking of Pop Goes, let's now move on to the fanverse section of today's video to wrap up this news video. Not too long ago, it was Kane Carter's birthday, so first of all, happy birthday, Kane. And to celebrate, we got this brand new render of all the Pop Goes characters lined up very menacingly. Kane actually got this render on a desk mat, something that I really do hope they officially release at some point in the future because this just looks so damn awesome. And finally, for today's news video, we got a very interesting update on t -Jock, the Ignited Collection. Because last month, you may have seen these models and renders by Mr. Nobody over on Twitter. And while obviously this is not the official Ignited Freddy design, it did get the attention of Nixon, who said, this is so effing insane. I'm going to try and get the models re done to look more like this. And then a few days later, we got another tweet saying, guys, oh my god, I love Gabriel's current progress on Ignited Foxy. Can't wait to texture it and show it off once it's done. And this is the Foxy they're working with. Now, the design change to make the Ignited characters look more organic, kind of nightmarish, devilish, has been a bit controversial. So honestly, of all the topics in today's video, I'd love to know, are you for or against this change for the Ignited collection? Personally, I think it suits the characters and the game so, so, so much more. This was shown off to us, like I said, the middle of September, so hopefully pretty soon we can get another look at the brand new designs for these characters, because I am very intrigued. But that is going to do it for this traditional FNAF news video. Hopefully you enjoyed no FNAF movie news today, but honestly, probably tomorrow or sometime very soon, there's going to be a whole other video dedicated to movie news. It's It's been crazy. That's going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.